I'm going to tell you why I think you should pay attention to Korea. 부부 사회학자인 샘 리처드 교수와 로리 멀리 교수는 사회학적 관점에서 한류의 힘에 대해 일찍부터 주목해 왔습니다. 그리고 최근 들어 그의 강의는 더욱 주목받고 있죠. 샘 리처드 교수는 매 학기 천여 명의 학생에게 인종과 문화의 관계를 강의하고 있습니다. 리처드 교수는 한류가 세계 곳곳에 영향을 미치고 있지만 확실하게 느끼 못하다가 갑자기 출몰한 느낌을 준다는 점에서 한류를 쓰나미에 비유합니다. 그는 최근 언론과의 인터뷰에서 전통 문화와 공동체를 중시하는 한국 문화의 특성과 겸손한 한국인의 모습에 미국인들은 호감을 느낍니다. 나는 20대의 한국인의 매력에 빠졌는데 이제 세계가 그 매력에 빠졌습니다 라고 말했습니다. 그가 처음 한국에 대해 매력을 느끼게 된 것은 1984년 석사학위를 위해 서울에서 온 한국인 부부와 친구가 되면서였습니다. 그들은 차분하고 조용한 성격으로 자신들을 늘 낮추며 겸손하게 세상을 대했습니다. 늘 목소리만 크고 나서는 것을 좋아하는 미국인들 속에서 리처드 교수는 그런 사람들을 처음 봤기에 곧바로 흥미를 느꼈는데요. 처음에는 그들 부부만의 특징이라고 생각했지만 좀더 많은 한국인들을 만나며 그것이 한국인만이 가진 특징인 것을 알게 됐습니다. 그리고 그 한국인 친구들이 리처드 교수 부부를 초대해 차려준 한국 음식을 맛본 순간 정말로 한국 문화에 매료되고 말았죠. 리처드 교수는 40여 년전 처음 김치를 먹었던 날을 생생히 기억한다고 했습니다. 그의 전공이 한국학이 아니라 사회학이었기에 한국에 대해 심도 있게 공부할 시간도 없었고 한국을 방문할 시간조차 없었지만 그는 그때부터 한국 사회와 문화에 관련된 모든 것에 관심을 기울였습니다. 그리고 2000년대 후반이 되면서 세계에서 한국의 위치가 변화됐다는 것을 깨달았죠. 한국이 세계에서 주도하기 시작한 특정 기술 분야와 경제, 문화 분야에 대해 가장 먼저 반응했습니다. 그리고 리처드 부부는 한국의 미래의 모든 것을 걸게 됩니다. 최근 세계 속에서 한국 문화 컨텐츠와 더불어 한국 교육에 대해 관심이 커지면서 그는 국내 대학에서도 특별 강연을 진행하고 있는데요. 고려대 사회학과에서 열린 특별 강연을 통해 한국에서 느낀 점들에 대해 강의를 이어갑니다. So I started teaching at Penn State 31 years ago and over time my, my teaching and my way of being has evolved into this. This is the trailer for my class. Uh, so so twice a week for 15 weeks in a semester, two semesters a year, so that's 60 classes per year. You could watch five years of classes and not a single class is ever the same. And they're not the same because I'm bringing other people up or talking to people from some other part of the world. I'm saying something different, students say something different, it's all, everything is, has, a, has a different way of being in the world. So that, that's kind of a sense. I'm going to teach sociology differently. And, and, I, and so I go into my classroom, so I tell my students, if you want facts, look it up on your, on your own. But that's not, that's not my job. If you want information, if you want definitions to sociology terms, look it up on your own. I teach a class on racism, like race and ethnicity and culture. My students never receive a definition of race, ethnicity, and culture. Because there are so many definitions out there, I say, if you want. So what I decided as a result of that, well, my job is to inspire. I, I want to inspire them. But, and I'm, I'm here in Korea, and I'm, you know, giving a number of talks and some, doing a couple television things and so on, but that's not why I'm in Korea. I'm in Korea to listen to Koreans. Last night I had a, a conversation with a, a journalist who had interviewed me a year ago in one of your stations. And I said, can, you know, can, can we have dinner? And I just want to talk to you. I want to hear from you. I want to, I want to interview you. And she had spent three years living in Canada. And I said, so, oh, you're like, you're, you're one of those people. Like, you have something to say. Like, you really do. You've lived in these two worlds. I want to, I want to pick your brain, right? That's why I teach. That's my motivation. To, to grow. I want to answer those difficult questions of life. I'd love to hear, I'd love to hear questions from students. So there are a couple things. One, the, the really rapid growth of, the, of, of uh, people of Asian ancestry in the United States has taken off in the last, in, in the last 30 years, right? I mean, it, it's just, uh, it's profound you know, the influence of Asia, but also in the United States. And so there is a greater kind of uh, assimilation 
of all aspects of Asian culture. And by the way, K culture has profoundly influenced that. I mean, this is the thing that I'm, what I'm, I'm known for, you know, here in Korea, talking about K culture and the degree to which, at absolutely, you, Koreans, have had a have opened doorways in the United States that you really cannot imagine, and this is how you, you know, I mean, this is the wave. The wave has crashed over, right? It's no, it's not a wave. It's actually a tsunami. You know how a tsunami wave is. It's a, it, it's invisible. You don't really see it. It's not like a wave that crashes like this. It's the one that comes this way. And it's, wow, it is profound. And so what's really important, you know, most recently we have this, you know, the, the hatred, because of COVID, you know, hatred of Asians or attacks on Asians. And to which I want to say, and I was telling this to my journalist colleague last night, the journalists, because they have to tell a story, but I'm a sociologist and I look at numbers. And you got 17 million people of Asian ancestry in the United States. And, you know, the attacks on Asians went from 2,500 to 3,800. So it's almost, you know, like 100%, 80% increase or whatever, right? But most of those attacks are name-calling, and so the actual physical violence is, you know, 300, let's say, right? You have 17 million people, 300 attacks. The journal, if you read journalism, what you see is, oh, you know, this is like, attack, you know, stop Asian hate. Right? There, there's so, here's another story of a, of a woman of Chinese ancestry attacked with a, a club by somebody in San Francisco. Okay, well, th that's a problem, right? But 300 out of 17 million people, it's like this, you, you have to, this is the beauty of sociology and numbers. You've got to put numbers together. You, you know, it's like flying on an airplane. The airplane isn't where you're going to have a problem. It's driving in a car to the airport. There's a, just an immense amount of, of coming together and assimilation. And especially because of Korea, I'm, I'm telling you, right, in the past five to six years, the number of people who have just opened to Asia, because people don't know the difference between Koreans and Chinese or Vietnamese and Cambodia. I mean, this is not the Taiwanese. I mean, you know, whatever. It's a, Korea's open certain doorways that is like really profound, you know. So yeah, I find that. You know, now there are these kinds of things, right? But this this both these videos were from four years ago. And in four years, because of Korea, once again, because of K-pop in particular, and K dramas, it's like there is a lot more really people kind of blending. I'm seeing it among my students. 여러분의 소중한 의견을 남겨주세요. 바쁘시더라도 구독과 좋아요 부탁드립니다. 지금까지 단골이시였습니다. 시청해주셔서 감사합니다.